Welcome back to the BGB. Today, instead of doing a retro hour, I've decided to celebrate the fact that I just got a Nintendo Switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a micro review, show it off, um, and tell you what I think of it really. Welcome to the show. I'm Snake from the BGB. Welcome to the show. Today I'm just going to do like a sort of vlog style review. Um, so as you can see, I bought the Nintendo Switch um, about a week ago now, so I've had about a week to play with it. This is the main body. It feels a bit like a sort of a large smartphone, not very big, um, and it's pretty light as well. So pretty thin and light. So that's quite good. Nice ergonomic shape to it. And you've got the little Joy Cons that come with it. You've got the left and the right there. Two little Joy Cons, quite thin. Strange shape, but uh, they, they do feel quite comfortable when you hold them. Um, they they click on nicely onto the sides here, so I'll try and do this nice and tidy. You click that on like that, and again you click that on. Nice little click. It feels nice to click, and uh, it feels nice to hold too. When you're holding it, it's very lightweight when you're holding it, even with the joysticks on, the joy cons. And yeah, it just feels really nice, nice to hold. It feels a lot lighter than you think it would for the size of the screen. So that's a good thing. So that's one way of doing it. You can have it portable as you go. Um, and to take the little Joy-Cons out, you have to press this little button at the back here. You click it and then lift and it comes straight out. Quite easy. Comes straight off. There's also a little kickstand at the back in case you want to stand it up. And either play it like this, the two joysticks, or you get this in the box too which is like a little controller stand. They click on in the exact same sort of way, so... Not too bad. Feels quite comfortable. It's got a nice handle, isn't it? So it feels like a real controller. The triggers feel good as well. You've got back triggers on there. Yeah, I like that one. That's probably my favourite way of playing, to be honest. Um, so you can play like that on the go. Um, or... You can take them out and you can play them multiplayer. These also come in the box too. You've got these two little sort of shoulder buttons. They click on the top, so it makes it sort of more more rounder, like a controller. So it clicks on that, clicks across, and it looks a bit like that. So a lot of people have been complaining about taking these things off. I mean, they're not that hard to take off really. You just feel like you're gonna break them. So really what you need to do is you need to, there's a little button at the bottom there, a little thing that says pull, I think, or lock, sorry, lock. And you pull that down so it clicks. Then you press the button at the back again and you lift. It needs a bit of pressure to pull it. Um, and when I first did it, the first time I felt like I was going to break it, I'm not going to lie. But it is sturdy and it's not too bad. So you can play it two player like that with these little shoulder buttons. Or you can play it with this in its dock or cradle, whatever you want to call it. So that clips in here and once it's all plugged in, that goes straight onto the TV, straight from where you're playing it, which is good. As long as you've got the channel set up, it works out fine. Um, a lot of people have been saying though, which I've found myself, the cradle is not very well designed because when you slide that in there, there's a chance you might scratch the bottom of your screen. Mine looks okay. There's a few marks in the bottom of it, in the corners, where it's been rubbing against the actual cradle like base. But um, yeah, I suggest getting a screen protector. People have told me the same thing as well. And I agree with them now. Now I've had it a week. Um, I want to look after it, so I want it to last as long as you can. That's the way I would go. Right then. The, uh, the cradle's got the little back bit there. That flaps open. You've got the USB, HDMI, and AC adapter on the back there. Three little slots. Uh, that's straightforward. Literally, just that little box, is that's all it is. The rest of it is pretty much just a plastic case to hold the cradle, hold the, uh, the actual tablet. So that's... Um, yeah, I think I've covered most of the points I wanted to cover on it. Um, one small thing. Um, a lot of people are going to be complaining about it on the internet, and I find it myself. If you get too far away from the screen, like three meters or more, the uh, the controllers seem to like lose connectivity, which is a shame, really, because 
uh, I want to be able to sit on my sofa and play it on my 4K screen from a distance. But you get too far away, and for me, it was the left joy Joy-Con. It just kept losing like connectivity. Um, hopefully, they get that patched because I was playing a racing game at the time, and as soon as that stops working, you can't do anything about it. You, you fucked basically. So I have to sit closer to the TV, unfortunately. Yep, so I think it's a good console, really. I mean, it's lightweight, you can take it on the go, you can play it at home. It's it's made for all all kinds of gaming, really. You can play it, it's like portable gaming, like you've got the 3DS, and they've just merged them together and made like a, a one-playing platform you can play anywhere, which I love about it. Um, I've only got a couple of games for it now. The store is a bit empty. They need to add more games to the store. It's Compared to like the PlayStation or the Xbox store, there's nothing on there. There's literally a handful of games. I know it's just come out. But um, and Nintendo are quite slow on the uptake when it comes to bring new games out. But yeah, I mean, I think in the future, next next few months will tell how well it does. I mean, it's sold a lot already. It's uh, broke records um, for the best, the fastest selling Nintendo console, which is cool. I mean, I much prefer this to the Nintendo Wii. Um, so it's outsold that. I'm proud of that. <laughs> so yeah, um, hopefully I get Zelda soon because that's one game I haven't been able to get. I might be getting that soon, so I might edit that into the same video as this. Um, we'll see. Alright, so that's the Nintendo Switch. Um, it's quite nice and neat, little thingy. I mean, I've got, I've got a... I can't even see, that's a bit bright, isn't it? It's touchscreen as well, I forgot to mention. Not that you'll be playing touchscreen very much in most games. So I've only got a couple of games on it so far. Like I said, I mean, I might show off, try and show off the graphics a little bit, maybe. So you can choose specific game styles, touch screen or controls, up to you. I mean, this this is a good game to, to show you what the graphics are like. I mean, I, I expected it to be like more like sort of Nintendo Wii, Wii U, but the graphics are quite good. They really, they remind me of PS4 almost. I mean, on the Joy-Con, the, the, um, the graphics isn't as good as it is on the screen. But it's still pretty good. Bear with my bad game skill at the moment. I'm playing it backwards, facing the camera, so I can't really see the screen. But yeah, it's not too bad. Obviously, yeah, I've got the 4K screen, so it upscales it, looks a bit better. But, I mean, by all means, for a portable device, this is as good as you're going to get at the moment, next to a tablet. So, yeah, it's great. So after getting the Nintendo Switch a little bit late, about a week after it came out, I couldn't get a Zelda Breath of the Wild anywhere. Luckily I walked into a store today and found one on the shelf and I finally got it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it, do like a little reveal, see what it's like, if we can open it. Peel this little bad boy open, have a look at the cartridge for the first time. That's the set of thing off. Smell that box, brand new smell. Wow, it's tiny. Touch is just really small. You see it? Oh, tastes like shit. Just as everyone else has been saying on the internet. Tastes like nail polish or something. Anyway, clean it up. So, I'm gonna go play this little bad boy now. Anyway. Thanks for watching my little mini review of the Nintendo Switch. Um, if you have any questions, don't forget to add them to the comments below. I mean, I've got, I've got loads of like, things I could probably answer about it, which I've probably missed in the video, but that's my little vlog. It's the first time. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of the Basement Gamer Bros. I'm your host, Snake. See you next time.